They went down close near work or Guy's Cliff for, for workshops. And it's now owned by the Freemasons. And the Freemasons are always trying to get me. You know? <laughs> uh, I, always, I always pass them on to Peter. So he's the, he's the real me. He's the real deal. Now your business mouth and out comes as New York boss. Back to the birds. The tree creeper <laughs> tips the trees upside down to trick out insects. The sparrow sorts spare parts on a pavement. And it's all in the course. The hoopoe hoops rainbows over the heath and hedgerows. The wren runs rings through its throat. The turnstones do precisely what is asked of them by name. The wry neck and stone chats also. The buzzards mew and mount up on the thermal's thermometer. Their smew slide on shy woodland water. The heron hangs its head before hurling down its guillotine. The turn twists on tines of two sprung wings. The dawn is the chorus. Oh, there's a girl. Only five. <laughs> the eider shreds its pillows, releases snow flurry after snow flurry. The avocet unclasps its compass points. The dawn is the chorus. The swallow makes the spring and names the summer. The swift sleeps only when it's dead. The dawn is the chorus. The bullfinches feather fight the bird bath into a bloodbath, the wagtail wags a wand, then it vanishes. <laughs> it's a cacophony, yes? The corn crate zips its comb on its expert fingertip, the robin blinks at you for breakfast. <laughs> the rook roots into roadkill for the heart and the hard work, the tawny owl wakes us to our widow. <laughs> The dawn is completely composed. The pens of its beaks are dry. Day will never sound the same, nor night know which song wakes her. Thank you very much for that.